Considering like how much been, snow we have out there, it feels like winter break is going to rest the rest, rest of the last of the life. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and action. <laughs> Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. You guys, my face is a little red. Just got finished with a workout this morning which felt amazing. Still, I'm currently sweating. It's good. Everything is good. We woke up to a winter wonderland. We have had so much rain, so much snow, so much precipitation. I cannot remember having this much precipitation in Utah in 10 years. Like literally, it's been so long. I cannot remember having this much water, rain, snow, all of the things, so much. Brandon just got up. He is headed out to go snow blow again. Don't you worry, we're not getting any breaks from that. I think it's supposed to snow a lot of today as well, which I'm kind of hoping it takes a little bit of a break because we have a birthday party to go to that is like 45 minutes away. We're just gonna hope for the best, hope that we can get there safely. Don't you worry, my car is in working condition and I just got new tires, brakes, and rotors. We are good. Waking up to this beautiful winter wonderland, it is gorgeous, I can't even believe it. I'm just gonna sit here, enjoy the beauty. It's also even like more magical that we moved and we have this gorgeous landscape to just sit here and enjoy, but it's like so bright outside, it's like blinding. I love it. We have had record-breaking, I don't know if it's record-breaking snow, but a couple of ski resorts have been closed because of so much snow and canyons are closed. <laughs> I literally can't believe it. I don't think it comes through well on the camera, but we have got several, several inches here. This is wild. This is insane. That is so deep. It is wild. We're loving it. We're here for it. Hope you guys are having an amazing start to the new year. This is our first day videoing in 2023. Cannot believe that we finally hit a new year here. Just enjoying the house, just loving it. Last year was like this push to just finish the house, get in and enjoy it. Let me tell you, after swimming in the pool for the last week, we've just been settling in. I'm really excited for January because I feel like we're finally going to be able to settle in, finally unpack, really just enjoy. Stephanie made the comment the other day. She's like, I'm so excited for you to have January. She says, you've been entertaining since the day you moved in. I'm like, you're right. And I love it. I've loved it. Here's to January. Daisy, are you all ready for the day? Yes. Did you go get a bow and sockies? Yes. Ooh, super cute. I feel like your little jacket matches so perfectly with this bag. We are taking a little gift to a birthday party today, but you guys, this isn't any ordinary birthday party. We are going ice skating. <gasps> it's been like a whole year since we've ice skated, and yeah. I'm so I excited. I ice skated once. Yeah, maybe you've only done it once or twice, but we're going to a birthday party for a girl in our neighborhood, and so excited to go meet her and some of her friends. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna show you guys this, because I think it's the cutest gift for a girl this age. at the mall the other day doing a return, so I got her this really cute cute like thread purse. It's super cute, goes crossbody and also around her waist. And then look, but there's more. I have this super cute little chapstick holder. I tried to find a new chapstick that we had in the house to go with it, couldn't find one. She's getting these two little gifts. We're gonna go enjoy some ice skating. Dad's gotta finish up the vlog and then he's gonna come join us. Does that sound good? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're ready to get skating in. Ooh, 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 ooh. Jackson, how are you so actually naturally good at this? Rollerblading. Oh, that's what it is for sure. I got you, Hazy Girl. I got you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> the trick is stay right by the wall and hang on to it. All right, bro. Swing me around. Here we go. Brexton! Brexton! Hazel, I'm coming for you. Oh, Hazel, oh my gosh. Oh, there it goes, Braxton. There it goes, Hazel. You're awkward. I know, but that's my job. 
Gregson, I'm turning, but I don't mean to. I'm sorry, I'm not in control. Dad, I'm scared. I can't turn. You're scared? I don't have that to help me. I'm way more scared. Okay, Gregson, you're just beating all of us. Okay, come catch up with me. Ready? All right, me and Hazy are going to race right now. Ready? Go. Wait, no, no, no. I'm actually just using your blue thing to hold on to because I can't skate. <laughs> <laughs> Will you pull me around the ice rink, though? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, he I'm heavy. What? <laughs> New Year's resolution, 2023. <laughs> A triple twist, backflip, McTwist. Yay! And he sticks the landing. <laughs> So despite the fact that we got another eight inches, if not a foot of fresh snow, today is the last day of the kids' winter break. It is also most likely the last day the pool is going to be heated and open for business. So we have got kids out here swimming one last time, one last go before we close things down. Probably just blow out all the pumps, let it freeze over, and then we'll open it again in the spring. Hopefully, when the slide gets here, Maddie will be coming back. A lot of fun things going on at that time. But living it up one last time in about a foot of fresh snow in the absolute freezing cold that is currently 25 degrees, but in there, 93, holding the heat at 93. Kids are doing their best tricks. They've learned how to do backflips, front flips. We did the New Year's leap from out there. I think the moms are gonna be getting in. I gotta join them. If it's the last one of the season, I gotta jump in. One last swim here in the winter before we say goodbye to what's been probably the highlight of our winter break, you guys. We have swam in this every single day as a surprise on the Monday after Christmas. I just said, hey, who wants to go for a swim? You guys wanna go jump in the pool? Yes! Get your suits on. We are jumping in that swimming pool, baby. Let's get it. Boy! <laughs> we jumped in at night, swam for a little bit, and then every single night for the rest of the winter break, every single day we have been in this pool. Mom's throwing down some serious rules, doesn't want any injuries or mishaps on the final day of swimming. It always happens when you say one more jump, one more time. We've been saying all day, one last swim. So to avoid any potential accidents, injuries, etc. Mom's throwing down some serious rules and kids being kids are not listening to any of them. So full send. Go Utah, are you getting in or no? I'm about to get in. Get in? <laughs> They're closing out winter break in some serious style here by doing a sick swim. The swimming sorry. Super sick swim. Super sweet. So sensational. But I wasn't gonna say that because that was obviously insane. We're closing it down after that. That was the last swim, I believe, of the season. Quite sensational. But to go with that, we are shutting it down with the best dinner we've had of the entire winter break. Chicken nuggets and mozzarella sticks. I didn't not plan anything. Get any better than and I was like, what are the You're too busy want? mourning the Utah epic loss, Mindy. I know. Not Should great. I not get... great. Way to win the pack. I'll just put a piece 12. of tape over it. And we'll just pretend the season ended after that. We've got some dino nuggets going down. We've got some mozzarella sticks in the air fryer getting hot and crisp. Yes. Then guys, what do we have after that? We have normal school night bedtimes. Yeah. Boo, boo, big time boo. This is so lame. The winter break is over. It's back to school. Is it just me or does it feel like this break has been like a month? Like I don't Stephanie remember. Stephanie was just saying that as she left. She's like, this has been the longest break ever. But, but in, in a, a great, really great way. way. Yeah, but I'm just like, I don't remember the last time the kids went to school. And also I think part of it is- Wait, kids go to school. Kids have been not in school more than in school since we've been in this home, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Like since we've lived here, because of Thanksgiving break and winter break, actually not been going to school more days than they've had school since we've lived in this house. So most of the 
family in this home, you guys haven't even had school, so it's gonna be a little bit weird to have a normal school morning yeah, tomorrow we're gonna morning. Have a back to the routine, back to well, dance. Before that part, though. Piano, well, okay, not tumbling. that part. Wow, you just made it chaotic. I'm ready for like kind of that more established routine, some yeah. bedtimes and morning times yeah. and just things like that. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy it. It's been such a blast. I think we've had probably the best winter break of our entire lives, I would say. Yes, we have. It's been incredible, absolutely unreal. Finish things off. We're going to have some chicken gourmet. nuggets, gourmet, homemade. In fact, recipe is on the blog, Costco.com, uh, and then <laughs> and some mozzarella sticks. And we'll get into our bedtime routine for back to school, guys. It is back to school tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, kids are gonna be back. You guys excited, sad, happy? Um, I love school, but also I just like staying home. I have loved having you guys home. Mom's gonna say that she's excited for some of the quiet and to be able to get some stuff done. I'm gonna miss you guys so bad because I love the noise. I love you guys running around. I love hearing you outside my office. I love that every single day on this break as I'm working, it's usually you two. Both of you are sitting in my office in those two chairs. You bring in your squishmallows. You bring in some fun stuff. Sometimes you bring in a blanket, lay on the floor. I'm gonna miss that. I'm gonna work it all by myself. It's kind of a boring office. Yeah. But how about this? As soon as you get home, on the weekend. weekends for sure. And as soon as you get home, we hang out. Deal? Yeah. Deal. We've got the other kids in the bed. Ragai's chilling with me, and you might wonder why we're on the floor of my office. Ragai went and got our backyard design plans because yeah. we're shutting down the pool. We talked about that, closing it up for the season. There's actually still some stuff out there that I've got to go get. And I considered doing one last dip to get some of the dive toys and goggles that sunk to the bottom. It'd be kind of fun. It'd be kind of fun. Just to clean it. Why TBD? Uh, I just gotta, it's not gonna be. I'm not gonna enjoy it. I'm just gonna go get stuff. Yeah. But it's in the bottom of the pool. So how else do we get it besides diving in and getting it? Maybe full sending backflip off the top ledge. <laughs> a la Ragai. Okay, yeah. but he just for fun grabbed these plans out. He wanted to see how closely these mirrored what we ended up doing because it felt like as we were going we made quite a few changes but looking at them I think we stuck pretty true to the plan dude this is our front yard 100% has the circle the walkway off to the driveway pavers you've got the steps up we didn't even know we'd have cool lights in them the walk out to there backyard we were just going holy cow we like really stuck to this we got rid of a lot of stuff like I'm not really sure how we thought we were doing hot tub pavilion and all this stuff back this way the pool ends here but all of the rest of this dude is very true to form we've got the fire pit off to the side the stairs is laid out exactly like we had planned. Landing at the top, slide comes down and in the pool. You've got the jumping platforms, waterfalls, layout chairs, sport court off to this side. Even got the Bingham Rock over here. We've added the Paw Patrol, which wasn't there. It's not like I'm saying Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol. <laughs> and then we moved the tramp, made it a rectangle one back in this corner. Outside of that, bro, like we stuck to this plan. When we yeah. made this, I remember thinking like, dude, this would be the most amazing backyard in the history of the world if we pulled this off. And I'll be honest, we kind of did. <laughs> kind yeah. of awesome. It's been the highlight of our winter break, which is funny because this is built for spring and summer for sure. The highlight of our winter break has been playing in this backyard. It'd be kind of fun to take this full design. This is like the laminated full size yeah. plans and like hang them up somewhere. I thought That'd it would be cool. cool if we hung this up in a little hallway over there. Like the house plans, all three stacked. Maybe by the mechanical room as you come out of the yeah, pool bath. That'd be like honestly cool. You could see where this was dreamed up, where we envisioned it, how we brought it to life. I think it's pretty cool. with the kids going back to school. And with it being the new year, many people have on their New Year's resolutions to hit the gym. One of the things that I just realized is that I did have on my agenda, on my many, many things to do, any ways to improve me, be the best me in the new year, is going to be watching the diet again, getting dialed in on that, as well as the exercise. If that's on your list, guys, go for it, crush it, kill it, do everything you can to achieve those resolutions. But as I faced that reality, I realized I probably should have a little bit of candy, maybe some cereal, one last cotton candy. I'm not gonna go full blown, no sweets, but I do like when I am working out to mix that with a little bit healthier diet. Not quite as many as we've had over the last little while here during break. So it's gonna be nice to get back to those different routines, normalizing life a little bit. It's been full vacation mode here. One of the things that I have observed is that I think partially just because we've been in the new house, so that's all very new. We've had the pool, which has been very much a vacation feeling. The kids have been out of school. This whole thing has felt like one big, epic, insane vacation. One of our many travels that we've done, fun houses we've stayed at, the adventures that we've had. It's felt like that, but in our own home. And in a way beyond just the fact that 
that were out of school and swimming don't know how to really explain exactly how a vacation feels to me and how identical the feeling has been over this winter break. So it has been incredible. I'm sad to see it come to an end, but I am also glad that this is just our home. We just live here. We can continue to settle in, make this home. I'm actually in here because I'm just doing a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of laundry because I have become that guy. You're not that guy. A guy that I never thought I would become. I am constantly cleaning around this house because I just love the way it was presented to us in that reveal. I loved how pristine and perfect everything was and I just want to keep it that way as long as possible. Mindy has been teasing me so much. I'm constantly running laundry loads down here of towels because we are doing a revolving door of people swimming using the towels and so I'm just always washing them and then every night I finish by vacuuming up the basement, tidying things up, putting all the garbage away and really there's not much. The kids have been incredible since we've been in this home, staying on top of pretty much everything, explaining the rules to their friends, keeping the theater in tip top shape. Everything has been amazing. She was giving me a really hard time just the other day when I was shoveling the snow because the snow was really yucky, dirty, and brown as I shoveled it off into the side of our entryway. I didn't really like that it was muddy snow sitting right next to our entryway. So I took some fresh snow and laid it on top of that so that it looked a little bit cleaner. She said, you've officially gone too far. You now have a problem. You need to chill out. It's kind of a funny role reversal, but part of something that I'd like to take into the new year. Just taking great care of this home and just continually forever being grateful. We are here. This is a vacation home that we call our actual home. We get to grow and make memories in and to share with all of you. Before we officially head back to school, before we officially break into the new year and those resolutions, I think I might go grab something to eat. Bowl of cereal, ice cream, or both. shutting down winter break this day, this night. It's a Monday, which it doesn't feel like at all. Considering it feels like how it's much been... snow we have out there, it feels like winter break is going to rest the... Rest, rest the last of the life. <laughs> last the rest of my life. So much snow. It's still coming down. I think it's supposed to continue yeah. snowing or is it done? I don't know because it said it was supposed to be done. cloudy and it was snowing. So you know what? I don't know anymore. It's snowing guys. A lot of snow. I love it because when we look out this giant window, it's like we're inside of a snow globe. Yeah. I absolutely Pretty love sure it. I started the vlog saying that today. Did you really? Great you're minds so think too. alike. Oh, oh it's God. the new year. It's the new us. Oh, so it's 2023, right guys? Do you love it? Okay. And anyway, come back tomorrow because we are back to school, back to routine, yeah. back to life. I actually haven't even moved into this house. I know that's crazy, but everything got put on pause. Yeah. It is time to resume getting boxes in the house, tying up loose ends. I know a lot of the people who have been working on the home have had the holidays off, which they have earned and deserved. They're going to be back here in full swing getting all of the missing light panels that need to be put in. So many different things that are going yeah. to be finished up and finalized. So. The moving in process continues. I know. Back to school. I think I'm just going to dedicate these next two weeks to just getting all the boxes unpacked. Get in. Get moved in. We can do this, you guys. We can do it. Stick with us. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> wow. I'm putting that in for sure. I swallowed my spit <laughs> <wrong>. <laughs> And action. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good night, everybody. Bye. Bye.